is graphic design? And what do graphic designers actually do? We'll answer those and many other questions in this first module and throughout this course. We'll start by looking at the, where the term graphic design came from, then we will spend some time going over who a graphic designer is and what a graphic designer does. Finally, we will review the steps of the design process, steps you will follow in all the courses of this specialization when designing your own pieces. Let's start with the historical overview of the graphic design industry. Designing and communicating with graphics has a long history. Graphic design, as we know it, began its rise with the invention of the printing press, but it also has a history standing back to when prehistoric citizens wanted to convey a message on walls. If we go back tens of thousands of years, we can see visual elements on prehistoric cave drawings. And while this may not be the advertisements we think of today as graphic design, they still offer a way of communicating ideas to others in a visual format. Moving up a few thousand years, written language was used on ancient tablets by the Sumerians to communicate messages to one another. Remember, letters are actually human-made inventions that allow for spoken language to be translated and shared in a written format. Then with Chinese letter forms, the calligraphy itself had flourishes and forms that were in the form of graphic design and that the letters themselves were designed to have their own graphic forms. In the 10th and to 14th centuries, coat of arms were used during the Crusades to distinguish armies, which is basically an ancient form of branding, a corporate identity, into personalized logos for the masses to recognize in order to tell warring houses and clans apart. Then in 1393, King Richard II of England decreed landlords to erect signs outside their premises. The legislation stated, Whosoever shall brew ale in the town with the intention of selling it must hang out a sign, otherwise he shall forfeit his ale. And this tradition still stands today to set apart businesses from each other. In 1439, the Gutenberg Press was invented. This allowed for mass production of books and images. Before, text and images had to be handwritten or painted individually. But with the printing press, one plate could be made that could be used over and over to reproduce multiple copies using black ink. Thus, what we think of as modern, modern graphic design was born. The first print advertisements made on the Gutenberg press were in black and white. But in the 1800s, chromolithography was invented, which allowed for color to be added to printed items. Companies were now able to pick corporate colors for consumers to tie with a brand, making consumerism popular with brand loyalty as the end goal. But it was not until 1922 that the term graphic design was first used by William Addison Dwiggins in his article, New Kind of Printing Calls for New Design. He was looking for a way to describe his role in the book, de in the book design industry and make others understand the importance of good design and the proper use of graphics to convey messages. Of course, graphic design as an art form had been around for centuries, but Dwiggins was the first to isolate this term into what we know as graphic design today. About 20 years later, Paul Rand presented specific theories, ideology, and philosophy of graphic design in his groundbreaking book, Thoughts on Design. He made a point to isolate the need for functional aesthetic perfection in designing logos to communicate a brand. And if you think about the timing, this was when television was beginning to be introduced, bringing commercials and the sale of products into people's homes on their television screens, so logos were needed to set apart com competing brands. The 1950s into the 1970s saw lineotype typesetters, galley proof, and various typefaces being developed. Typesetting and commercial printers allowed for more mass production of design pieces at reasonable bulk prices. This era was the heyday for graphic designers when specific ad agencies were formed to just work on branding and commercials for companies and organizations who were willing to pay others to design items and specific messaging to sell their products. In the 1980s, desktop publishing computer software like Quark, Adobe PageMaker, and Photoshop were introduced as graphic design moved into the digital era that we know today. 
these continued these continued to advance as technology took on a rapid advancement into the 1990s and the 21st century. Now graphic design has gone online to the masses with sites like Canva, social media, and other websites where you can actually design stuff right online instead of having specific, often costly, computer programs. Now that we have covered the history of graphic design, the next video will dive into exactly what graphic designers do.